excited to show you the deep purple iPhone 14 Pro Max and the new MagSafe cases from Apple. Clear and silicone cases from $49 and leather cases at $59. Today we're trying it on on literally every MagSafe iPhone case from Apple. Everything from leather to silicone and even clear. So we see which ones you'd like to buy and which ones match. Give this a like if it helps and subscribe for more. First, we have the clear case. I'm gonna point out the obvious first. Yeah, it's great that it's clear so we can appreciate the design of the phone, but man, does that MagSafe circle stand out. If you can get used to that contrast, then I think it would be a great case. I like how it feels like glass and also looks like it from the back. But the plastic edges make it look cheap up front. It was my default case when I had silver, but with Deep Purple, it would be less frequent. I score this a nine out of 10 on Deep Purple. Next up, leather cases. This is Umber, the season's brown. Apple used to make saddle brown every year, but these days, they seem to change it up. The time it's darker, but with a bit of a brick undertone. I personally think it's not the smoothest match, but because of its earth tone, brown tends to work with many things. And most of the time, the camera will look black anyway. I give this a match of 7 out of 10, but thumbs up for this pleasant new color. What do you think? Next is the return of Forest Green. Generally a dark green, it keeps it sleek and more towards a neutral earth tone than glow. I never would think of purple and green together, but this actually works. They both complement while blending smoothly being dark. Match score, 8 out of 10. Midnight. The most subtle blue I've ever seen, it's almost black. Clever of Apple to keep a cool hue around to match purple. Match score, 10 out of 10. ink. You know they made this color perfect for this iPhone. Like Deep Purple itself, from far away it looks dark, so it also looks black. Smoothly, a 10 out of 10. Orange. No fancy name needed. Get this if you like a bright, high contrast to your phone. Makes me want the phone's color to really be a lighter purple, to complement more.
Loving the new iOS 16 lock screens, by the way. Predicting 8 out of 10 for most people, but 5 out of 10 for me. First with the silicone cases is succulent. My personal favorite for the color itself. In between a pale, light green, and blue, it somehow blends in with many settings and counters I set it on. If deep purple again would be lighter, it would have been perfect. 9 out of 10. Check it out. This season's lilac adds to Apple's line of purple cases. It really is that pretty lilac color we love on the flower. Ten out of ten. Storm blue. A nice color you can use like navy. It becomes a medium tone in some brighter lighting. Some of you guys are right, it does look like Abyss from last year. I thought the same thing, but it's actually a bit lighter. The left is Abyss for last year's iPhone 13 Pro Max, and right is Storm Blue for 14 Pro. Being analogous and dark with the iPhone, I score it a 9 out of 10. Sun Glow. Still a bit vibrant enough to be a bright, sunny color, but subdued enough to not stand out loud. Here it is compared to Lemon Zest from last season. Great color, but 7 out of 10 for Deep Purple. Chalk Pink. Another color great for high contrast. This season's pink. For that and being close to purple in the color wheel, plus the versatility of the case to match outfits, I give it a 9 out of 10. Elderberry. Another dark purple in the lineup. Simply blending together while only being slightly lighter than the phone for some depth. It's a 10 out of 10. This season's product red. If deep purple again would be lighter, it would have been perfect. 9 out of 10. Check it out. Which one did you like the most? Comment below. If you already have any of these, add your thoughts. I only wish this year's purple was lighter to show more of its hue. Hope this helped. If so, give it a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.